Oh. Hello and welcome back to Garen River vs Baldur's Gate 3. I may have just bloody noticed something. Um, can you... Sorry, I'm I'm in the uh, the Temple of Paylor at the bottom. Seems to be a gap here. Is it a gap or is it... No. Just another weird quirk in the level design. Okay, alright. I'm going to have to accept that I do not have the crest. And without the crest, I'm not going to risk grabbing the Watsit. Oh, that's so annoying. All this way, all of this effort. Hmm. Maybe next time. Maybe you can't even get it if you're evil. But just in case, I am going to go and search the crash one last time. Did I say if you're evil? I meant unless you're evil. That was not a Freudian slip. Hmm, there is this area of the hatchery I've not actually checked. I could try there. No, looks to be a very small little inlet. Unlikely that these have what I need, just barrels submerged in acid seems a very unfitting place for a crest that unlocks a god weapon. Ah oh well, worth a try. And I'm back here. Alright, I have to conclude the crest is not here. Either it is not gettable, which I'd be very surprised at, or it is just not gettable now, or by my character, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, maybe maybe the crest is a misdirect and you have to take it, but that seems unlikely. seems more likely that if that was the way, they'd have the crest and still make it like an evil thing to take the weapon. I'm guessing that taking it without the crest is like taking it without permission, but if you have the crest, then you're sort of deemed worthy to take it, in inverted commas. Alright, let's go back then. I think that is everything to find here. Because the cliff came out down here, so that's the un only other passageway, it seems. Uh, have I been there? Uh, it's very hard to tell from the top. Ha! Now this fascinates me. I may have discovered... What's that? That looks like a monkey face. No, it doesn't. Does that look like a monkey face? You know, it's like eye, eye, mouth. Anyway. Um, this might be a secret thing here, and for that I'd need the last it seems simple uh, enough. Stockhold, right? Dawnmaster Stockhold. Yeah, he's the one buried. The monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. Uh, look at Stockhold. Even song before the zenith day. Celebrated by Dawnmaster Stockhold. Oh, he's wearing the crest! He's wearing the bloody crest! He's the only one without a weapon because his is the frickin' crest. So if I want the thing, I have to dig up the body. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, God. Like, this look, this sounds like I looked it up. I genuinely didn't. I have genuinely spent close to an hour searching this monastery, and I completely missed this bloody detail. Oh, no. <sighs> Arskel Stockhold, Dawnmaster, from Death, Life. Uh, it would be really, really wrong to dig this up, wouldn't it? Like, it's it's going to be incredibly hard to justify that. <sighs> Alright, pros and cons time. Pros of digging him up. We would be able to save the blood of Paylor, weapon, from, being, from falling into the wrong hands. And someone commented on the last episode to say, like, Ah, yes, the safeguarding defense, or words to that effect... The classic morality. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't really have a defense for this one. Like, all right, quick, quick tangent. 
I there was there's a TV show called um, Burn Notice, which is a great TV show. Uh, but in that, the problem I always had to the main character was he always had a habit of enabling the evil plan to work out what they're doing, uh, despite never quite clocking that without his assistance, the plan would not have su- the, the evil plan would never have succeeded. Like, and he does this multiple times throughout the series. He's always like, no, no, I have to find out what they're planning, so I'm going to do everything they want as part of what they're planning. And it, it just, the, it never quite clicked for him. And after what I'd just done, working my way down to there and, like, umming and ahhing about the final lock, I've done exactly that. Like, I've effectively done the evil thing without realizing that I was doing it. Like, I thought, I genuinely thought that what I was doing was for the best. Or I didn't realize it was wrong until I finished. (laughs) And now it's like, well... There's every chance that putting the crest in will still have the the effect of disabling whatever that security measure was, and it might still say, you know, he's taking this as evil. In which case, well, screw me, because it'll be way too late. But her hair looks really light in, in the sun. But, uh, yeah, so pros is that I can secure the blood of Paylor. Cons... It would involve desecrating the corpse and resting place of a Dawnmaster, which is a title to which uh, Eve's mother has always aspired. They are essentially the like among the highest ranking members of Paylor's priesthood. It would be incredibly disrespectful, and if Ayla ever found out Eve did this, she may very well disown her. So... Uh... I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. Like, there's... But then again, there are so many other things Eva's done that Ayla would hate. Like, killing helpless people, and the pa- the fact that she has a pact with a warlock... Uh, like, she has a warlock pact with the devil living inside a, a, a silver sphere. Like, it's fairly likely that Ayla doesn't know that but if she found out how would she react she'd probably want to help break the the pact but Eve doesn't want to break the pact the pact has been very good for her oh I don't know I don't know at all I'm leaning towards I can't do it because whereas some of the other stuff has been done in anger or has been done um, reactively, this this is making a conscious decision to defile the grave of somebody that one of the people you respect most in the world respects most in the world. So it's a step removed from that respect. Like uh, Eve doesn't have the veneration for the Dawnmasters in quite the same way, but she I mean she still collected the tomes for safekeeping. So there is some respect there. And <sighs> Yeah. The vibe from Eve's patron is that the the weapon has some sort of godly protection on it. So maybe that's enough. Yeah. Okay, I think I think we're going to walk away. I think we're going to walk away. I should walk away, shouldn't I? Yeah. You okay, babe? Um, yes, we should leave now. You sure? We didn't get that uh, that fancy looking glowing mace thing. I I know, but there are more important things than having a fancy weapon. Whatever you say, I'm with you till the end. Okay. She went a bit zid there, didn't she? Oh, and there's even a bloody shovel here, specifically in case you want to dig up that grave. Wow, that's awful. All right, let's get out of here then. 
let's take the uh, cable car back up. Well, this place was quite a mental journey. A moral and mental journey for Eve. But I think we did okay. I think things could have got very, very dark. And we managed to avoid that for the most part. Like, we did murder a few Githyanki in their home. We may have completely shattered Lazelle's perception of life, the universe, and everything. But overall, we didn't dig up the grave to get the powerful weapon. And I call that a moral win. Fuck is that noise? What was that noise? Was that these things like spawning in and fizzling out or something? That was a horrible noise. People pointed out that the reason I couldn't fast travel wasn't that I was trapped in my camp, it was that it forced a long rest to for fast travel to a different area. Which is weird, because I swear it's not done that before, but... I thought I'll just walk it manually instead. Oh no, it's doing it anyway! Okay. Item received backpack. Why? I don't know why it keeps giving me a backpack, it's weird. I did also find another backpack. Or is this the backpack I found? Oh no, no, there, yeah, there are two new backpacks. I found a backpack in the, um, the crash. So I'm gonna keep all my dyes in that backpack. I'm fully healed, how am I fully healed? Just a quick kiss to feel better about how things went today. I love the blue. I guess I'm going to bed. Can't avoid it. It's by my best bloody efforts. Uh oh. Oh. Aren't you dead? Supreme Kithrak. Oh no. Has Vlakith sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Uh. Don't trust him. <laughs> My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. I like how Lazelle's the only one wearing armor. The rest of us are just like in our relaxing attire and she's like, No, I expected this. Fine, we'll hear what you have to say before we gut you. Not to Lazelle, she should take the lead. Go on then, speak. Uh, not to Lazelle, she should take the lead. Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. Are you talking about the person inside? Do you know who that is? What are you asking of us, Vos? You must either be a fool or a hero to work against your own queen. I'm not giving you the astral prism. Are you talking about the person inside? Do you know who that is? If they have not said, they must have good reason. And I won't be the one to betray yeah, them. It's obviously Orpheus. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally, protects you with their power. Oh, yeah. That very power will be the end of Vlakith's tyranny. The Prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. <laughs> that is where we decide the fate of my people. <laughs> Lazel. Together we will break our chains and be Vlakith's slaves no longer. I am no slave, just still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Come on, Lazel. Lies, Lazel. Every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. 
The Zaith Isk does not purify. It extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Huh. Madness. He flood me with this... this heresy. I... I will hear no more of it. Hmm. Interesting. Because, like... Godhood is a very nebulous concept in D&D. Like, what defines a god? Um, I mean, what defines a god in any mythology, frankly, but, like, you get demigods and, and full gods and minor gods and major gods, and, like, what is the definition of a, of a god in any fictional context, you know? And in D&D, it's always been this particularly nebulous thing because people can ascend to godhood, um, and gods can probably be stripped. I don't, I don't know of any gods that have been stripped of their godhood, but it's probably possible. For, uh, but I can't believe Lazel is still like, no, Vlacket is amazing, even though she tried to kill us and keeps trying to kill us and hates us and talks about how we're all evil and terrible and wants to drain our souls. But no, she's the queen. This is your ch chance to earn Vlacket's redemption. What a terrible idea. What do you want to do, Lazel? No, 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 no. I don't want to give her agency. Like, <laughs> that sounds awful. That sounds really awful, but I don't trust her judgement right now. He speaks true of the Zaithisk, you need to trust him. Definitely not saying that. Vlakith led you astray. I believe him, and so should you. Oh, wow. Everybody approved. I served Vlakith the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel. I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. Interesting. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazel. Interesting. Ally with Voss against the Githyanki God Queen. Good luck! <laughs> That's the achievement I just got. <laughs> okay, well. That explains why it forced a sleep. Huh. Well, I just want to say that if people did know that was going to happen, thank you for not spoiling it. Because that was a brilliant surprise. The thing that confuses me is Orpheus said uh, um, uh, Dream Buddy said not to trust him. So Dream Buddy doesn't believe or doesn't know he's working with working for her? Huh, interesting. I'll see if anyone has anything to say. Uh, Will has vanished. So has Gale. Is that because they're not in the party? So is Withers. Yeah, everybody who's not in the party has vanished. So, Lazel's going to war with Vlakith? Going to break her chains in Baldur's Gate? Good for her. Huh. Yeah. Because everybody approved. Everybody. And Asterion approved because he, he likes liberty and freedom. Karlak approved because Vlakith is an evil tyrant 
Shadow Heart approved because she doesn't like the Git Yankee. I can't even, I can't remember if Gale and Will approved. I didn't expect Glazel to turn on the Lich Queen so readily. Wonders never cease. She really must trust me. So we're going to meet Voss in the city, are we? Set the tenant of the prison free? This is all very, uh, I don't know. I like a good caper, but I'd long for a tiny bit of status quo now and again. I'm not quite sure what she means by that. All right, Lazel. Tell me your thoughts. Vlakith kosivim krath krashet. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu slate, but they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the ten thousand protocols stem. Ten thousand. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Voss speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Oh, I love that. I love that. That is a wonderful perspective. Because, like, when, when this sort of thing happens, there are two ways you can go with it. And she has struck a perfect middle and revealed the third way you can go. Because the two ways are the moment they begin to betray you, you're like, well, fuck it, they betrayed me, I, I'm, I'm against them now, which she didn't do. Um, and the sort of the other extreme is I'm certain she had reasons for betraying me, therefore I'm still loyal. But Lazelle was sort of wobbling between them a bit, and she took the hidden third path, which is no, she she lied she's been lying to us. She is not worth the the loyalty because her loyalty to us didn't exist. She's been lying this whole time. Fascinating. What does Ascension entail? Voss, uh, Voss called Vlakith a tyrant. Does this mean you agree? Who is the one in the prism, do you think? And if Voss is wrong, obviously it's about time you figured it out. What a dick thing to say. What does Ascension entail exactly? Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honour. Long ago, the Gaith enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose. To train hard enough to slay a Gaith and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, city of death. <laughs> we are honoured with an eternal home in the astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended. Or so I believed. I see. Who is the one in the prism, do you think? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. Probably Orpheus, Orpheus though, At right? At first, I thought them an illithid deception. A trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Voss believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Yeah. I'm, I'm convinced it's Orpheus now in there. Still doesn't answer any of the other big questions like who the Absolute is, but I'm fairly sure about that. Then again, I've been fairly sure about other things. Right, I'm not going to ask you if she thinks Flacketh is a tyrant. Yes. I'd like time to think. Huh. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesse's Caress <laughs> in Baldur's <laughs> Forgot Gate. Forgot it was called that. Until then, be vigilant. Flacketh's eyes are upon us. I love the way it was like, Charesse's caress. That is where we will discover that the, we will decide the fate of the Githyanki people. And it shall go down in the history books. And lo, did the greatest heroes of our time meet in Charesse's caress. Uh, what is Vlakith's tyranny exactly? No, we'll talk about that later. Interesting. Very interesting. Interesting.